let's just jump right in. What I want to tell you first is I was introduced to the Traveler Notebook system, which is how I am putting my prayer journal together now, all on YouTube. So you can put in Traveler's Notebooks, prayer journals, war binders, and you will be introduced to the most amazing planner community there is out there. I also use a Filofax for my daily planning, and that is completely different than my prayer journal. I will do a whole nother video on that. Just put all that aside and jump right in today into the prayer journal, otherwise known as a war binder, and I will show you how I have my setup. Now, just so you know, before I even came into the planner community, I always journaled. So here's a picture of all my past journals. I have been journaling for, let's say, the past 15 years, and I will even say that I was introduced to journaling when my kids were in my belly, when I was pregnant. I really started journaling, and I really loved it. So. When I um, crossed the line of faith, I really began to become interested in just journaling. And so I will show you what that looks like. I really transferred the same rhythm that I had in all of these journals that you're seeing right now. I really transferred that same rhythm into the Traveler's Notebooks. And this rhythm worked really well for me because I love that in the Traveler Notebook, you can have inserts. And so all my inserts became my little divisions that you will see that I had in my regular journals from many, many years ago. Let's jump into how I am in journaling in 2017. This is the Chick Sparrow. So if you wanna find out more about Chick Sparrow, it's C-H-I-C, S-P-A-R-R-O-W. Go ahead over to their website and they will show you everything because it can be confusing at first when you're looking at the different sizes, the grains of leather and all of that. And they do a wonderful job on their website explaining everything to you. So I have the Chick Sparrow Mr. Darcy. So that is the brand here and they have many different names and different styles of traveler notebooks. But this is the Mr. Darcy and I cannot remember what color I have. I have two of these traveler notebooks. I just love the color. I love the grain. Um, I wipe it down on a regular basis and this thing gets tossed in and out of my bag. So there's not, you do not see a lot of scratches. It just, it keeps up so well. Um, Chick Sparrow makes everything right in the U.S. and it is 100% leather. The quality is fabulous. Just look how solid this thing. This is not a real soft leather. It's kind of a harder leather. Together, It's really flexible, but I just like that it's not too soft where it scratches up on you. So again, I went ahead and had them inscribe my initials. You can see HB there. And then of course you can see Chick Sparrow on the back. So again, Chick Sparrow, the size of this notebook is a size wide. And you will see that in the sizing charts. These come really small. Again, I like to you know stay really busy in these things, so I prefer room. I don't like the real small personal size ones. I like them to be a little bigger. So basically what you see in the front is kind of like your dashboard, your fun place. And in the front here, I just have some of my paper clips that you'll see here. And these paper clips all came from Posh Pieces by Melissa. And you know, I'll put all these Etsy links below for you, but you can hashtag Posh Pieces and you will see this lady's fabulous stuff. So she made most of my um, paper clips. And again, I don't even have half of her paper clips and stuff in here. This was a paper clip. It was a dress and then my head and I ended up cutting it out and gluing it onto a folder that I made. And this is just a quick folder that, there's so many tutorials on YouTube on how to make a paper folder folder for your traveler's notebook. So I just YouTubed it one day and found some paper at Michael's and put together a folder. Again, my folder is used just to hold stickers when I'm starting to journal. I'll grab some of the stickers out. Um, I keep my page flags and stuff like that in the folders. I keep my what are these things called? Oh, having a brain fart. Okay. Project Life cards will have like a little saying on them, or they'll have like, now they even have the adult friendly coloring on the back, but in most cases, the the Project Life cards will have like smile and areas for you to write or they'll be blank and maybe have a big quote on the front and blank on the back. I use a lot of these in my prayer journal. I'll just glue them and stick them on pages. So I'll take a few Project Life cards out and I'll stick them in my pocket so I have them for a couple of my future entries. Another thing that I do is I save cards that people 
um, give me because if they're cards that I like, which is pineapples, I receive a lot of pineapple cards in the mail, I will go ahead and I will use the pineapple cards and I will take notes or do a little devotion right inside the card and I will stick those in my prayer journal. So it's just a place to write. And you can see here I did a little devotion on five benefits of gratitude on how to stay focused and positive. So I use um, page flags and stuff like that to put down the five specific ways to stay positive. So I love saving my old cards for that reason. Let me just flip back over because I feel like I missed some really cool things. There's just so much to talk about, holy moly. Anyway, in the setup for um, Mr. Darcy, he has a lot of pockets here. So you can put whatever you want. You can put devotional cards in there, memory verses in there. Again, I have more Project Life cards that just have little quotes on them, and I have those stuck in the pockets. Another thing that I like to do is take, um, and Michael's, I'll grab some of their paper in their paper aisle, and I'll just put this in the back, just it just to bring some color. That's why I have that. Gosh, I like sparkle. What girl doesn't, right? So I just have extra pieces of paper in here that I may use to journal later on in the notebook. So I just stick all of those in there. And then for the rest of it, I just stick all of my paper clips. And most of my paper clips, like I said, I found on Etsy. So man, Etsy has so many amazing journaling supplies for you. Here I just found a little, this was a little pocket card that I found at Michael's and I went ahead and I found my H and B and I stuck that on there and it's just a cute little add-on that I have. And then here is a Bible verse. It is actually the main verse to my run Bible study that I wrote and I always keep my little marketing uh, card that says run, believe, behold, and become. It's a book that I wrote two years ago and that is the key verse to the entire run Bible study. And it's 1 Corinthians 9, 24 through 27. And it's the Bible verse that talks about running in such a way that you win, that you win in this life. So if you have not checked out my book called Run, I'm giving it a thumbs up and I'm encouraging you to go check it out on heatherbaxter.com or on Amazon if you want to read about the reviews. But it is a, a book about teaching you how to run your race and go after your dreams and your passions and to win in the end. So let's move on and let's go to the inserts. I have, let's see how many, I think I have five inserts in here. Now what I do with each one of these inserts, where, when you buy a traveler's notebooks, you get these strings inside of them and just place one of the books inside of the string. They all stay right in there. So you can kind of get an idea. I'm pulling it away. So they're all separate. When, they're, when they fill, this is the bonus. When you fill one up, you can take it out and replace it and then put your empty ones in a box. So if your family or your kids later on in life, you know, something that they end up reading, say you're not here long, long from now, and they can go back and my kids can see how I wrote about them, what I prayed about them, what mom's dreams were, how she stayed steadfast in her race, how did she run with endurance, and most of it came to my journaling time. So let's check out what the insert's about. Now this insert is pretty much not so much journaling, but you'll see, I just actually had to buy a new one because I ran out of my other one. And you will see that it has May with its dates and then this week's tasks. Really, this is um, my task for if I'm in the middle of writing a book, which I am right now, I'm writing my second book called Alert. And if I'm listening to a faith-based message or if I went to church on Sunday or something just came to me, I write it down in that date area and then I have this area to take extra notes. So it's really where my lessons plans are inspired um, if I'm teaching if I'm speaking at a church for a weekend and something spoke to me during the week I will jot that down I will take further notes over here so it's just really my spiritual brain dump area for many categories in my life whether it's teaching lessons that I'm doing whether it's a speaking message that I'm doing or a book that I'm writing I brain dump in this area and then I just know where it needs to come together later I just need that place where I can go oh my gosh I had that thought on Thursday what was it? Jot a few things down. And then if I have some more random thoughts for that week, it just goes all the way over here. So again, it's just my focus on my adventure for that week. It works for me. Again, I've went through so many of these and just bought this one. So 
This is from Fraz Zizzlemade. I don't know if you can see her name right at the bottom, but that is her insert. She has a lot of great inserts, so go ahead and check her store out too, and I'll put her link below. So if you're looking for different traveler notebooks, um, you can definitely find them all on Etsy. Just put traveler notebook inserts and you will find a ton. For most of my inserts, actually all of them, I go to Yellow Paper House because I find that their quality is the best and that's just the ones that I have been using. So really quick and show you each insert that I have in here, just kind of give you a look of the whole uh, journal and then we will come back and I will just talk briefly about each one and we will wrap it up. So again, I think I have six. So I, what you do is when you get the ones from Yellow Paper House, they come with just, it looks like a brown paper bag. It looks like a brown um, cover on it and you can decorate it yourself. So this is just washi tape, a Project Life card. Again, I used one of my cards that I got in the mail and I just went ahead and decorated it. So the cover looks like this. You can get different colors on the inside. You can get them, this one I chose to get with um, the white and the mint and the, the blue and you can get them with grid, you can get them plain. There's so many different designs. So it's really fun to go to the Yellow Paper House and see what your style is. So there is one notebook. Here's my second. I went with all of the browns. Some of them have designs. You can get the front cover that has designs. Get whatever you want. I usually tend to go with the brown and decorate it myself. And so here's another one. This one's almost filled of my journals. And then there's the back of it, decorated with a Project Life card, some washi tape. This came from Posh Piece by Melissa. I think. So when you buy stuff from her, she always has little extras in the bag. To another one, this is just all vanilla with lined. I lined all vanilla with lined. I didn't do any um, crazy colors or grids on that. I just wanted it plain. And then we'll come here. I actually made myself. I was excited to learn how to make a little folder to just keep them in. And it's a dashboard. I found the paper at Michael's. And then I laminated it, and it's just like a, a dashboard, but into a folder, if that makes any sense. It's just, I kind of, it's just a dashboard and into a folder. So I just stuck one of my inserts inserts in there. It's just another way of, let's put it this way, of making your, um, your planner journal fat, you know, chunky and fat. So it just takes up some room, and it's fun because I can actually stick stuff onto this. I can put verses onto it. I can just do whatever. But I just loved the, the look of it and the design on it. So, so now let's go ahead and back up. I'll talk to you about each one. Like I said, we talked about the first one and now the second one. How I set up my prayer journal, my war binder, is in section. So the first section here, which actually these two are the same. I just ran out in this one right here. So I went ahead and ordered another one and it just came in this week and I actually just put this decoration on it. But this is really the Bible in 2016 and then I was going in Bible in 2017, ran out of room and so now I have my brand new one. And what this means is on a daily basis, I have a routine of listening to a faith-based message. If that faith-based message jumped out for something that's going on in my family or something that spoke to me real personally in regards to my dreams and whatever stage I am in my dreams, it gets written down in the journal because it was a marked moment for me. So you will definitely see areas in here where a message spoke out. And at that time, I'll either use my pens or I'll take some washi tape, I'll use some stickers, and I'll really, really, like there was a message on declaring certain verses over your dreams. And faith comes by hearing, hearing the word of God. So I went ahead and in that message, it spoke about certain verses that we should have written down and that we should speak over certain areas of our lives. And it was so powerful that I actually put those on a piece of paper and wrote those down. So that ended up making it into the prayer journal. There was a lesson on how to learn from ants, which I thought was so powerful. And the five things that we learn about ants and how we need to be gathering the same thing and providing for what God has for us in the, in the future. And how do we prepare for that? So that message meant a lot. So that goes in 
in that type of journal. So this is really for me. And then a lot of times when I'm going through that, I'll talk about struggles that I may be feeling and why that message meant a lot to me. So it's just my place to go, God, I heard your word. This is where I'm struggling, but I believe in what your word says. The next one right here is family. This is all for my family. So when this gets filled up, what I do is I section off. So I'll have my husband, Daniel, and I have 2016 and 17 in here because these notebooks are pretty big. So I have him sectioned off and then I have Benjamin sectioned off. These are all Benj. This is Benj 2017. You know, you might have those days where you're really struggling with one of your kids and you just want to write some things down and declare dreams and verses over them. And so that's what this is used for. I have my daughter, Brittany, and I have a section for her. And then I have a section for Olivia and hers goes on and on back here. So this is all for my family. And when this gets filled up, I get another family one and I put it in. So I section off enough pages. Now I don't come into this every day. Again, when something's pressing or something's going on in their life or we're believing God for something or whatever it is, it's my place to feel relieved. I know when you're raising teenagers, you're gonna go through a lot of stuff. You're gonna feel like you're going through hell and water sometimes. And this feels really good to write. It, get in your cave with God and just write that out. Be still and know that he is God. Go ahead and write out your feelings things, write out um, some verses, and really believe that God's will is going to be done. And in here, this is, and this is for 2016 and 17. So this is crazy. This one looks really crazy. I don't know if you can see that. Let me pull out a little. Let me, there we go. This is my dream board. And let me go ahead and show you a picture right now. Okay, this picture right here is my dream board for 2017. What happens is I write a little bit about, I write about my dreams more clear in my prayer journal or war binder. And so that is my vision board for this year. And then last year's I put right here. I didn't actually use a um, cork board in my office. I used this as my vision board. And so I don't even know what this is. I was thinking a hubcap and spokes. And then as the vision grew and I had more detail to it, it just kept branching out and it got really crazy. Again, this, this is how crazy my brain works. So you may be more neat. You may just be typing out all your stuff and your stuff might be all on the first page typed out in your traveler's notebook. Whatever works for you. I like to have a fun brain. So this works for me to go ahead and do this in a fun way. And again, what happens is, is each one of these is a specific dream. Now, if you go to my uh, vision board, this picture, you will see a lot of these are on my vision board still, but actually God is moving. I, so what I do here is I take these individual visions and I write about them. So all in here are areas that I'm working on or maybe a message that helped me in my personal goals. I know the Lord was speaking to me last year and um, all about my routine, that I needed to get a routine in order, that I needed to have, to have some daily habits going on. And so I was really working on some daily habits. My five o'clock morning hour, um, just a lot of things that I needed to get done. I needed to be in the word every day. I needed to be reviewing my dreams and goals. They had to stay in front of me. I was really working. This was a powerful message. It was called the seed is on schedule. Just wait and work the soil because it's not your time yet. And this was so cool because when you're really anticipating some great things from God, um, you sometimes get impatient. And so this was all about the stages of a seed. So much hope and peace to my life. I actually have an old Bible. That's another thing I do. I have an old, old Bible that I will cut the verses out and I will, um, I will tape them right on in the notebook. Um, so I use that Bible for that. And you can see some days I'm not into any coloring. I'm just into plain writing. I just picked these bad boys up. Aren't these cute? I am a fanatic for pineapples. So I just picked these up at Home Goods. They're actually cup coasters. Are they not cute? But I'm going to write on the back of them and I'm going to get a little folder, one of those. They're like clear little plastic folders. Or section at Target, some of these little um, sticky notes and you can tear those off and maybe add a verse to it. Whatever you want to do, you can add some of the page flags from Michael's. I just buy a few fun stickers and then I throw them in, but I don't get crazy because I mean, I just have enough time that I'm actually writing in it. So 
that is for the dreams. And then Allure, this is the second book that I'm working on now. So you will see a lot of things in my journal with arrows because the cover of the next book is going to be an arrow. That's the sign that I'm going to be using on the book and it's going to say Allure. So I'm excited, be watching for more of that. Working on that now, I'm looking at that being done next fall. And that is about it. If my kids write me something fun, my daughter wrote me a card that says, what I love about you. And I just thought this was so special. And I keep it right here in the back pocket. So that's another great thing with um, the Chick Sparrows is they have a nice heavy duty pocket, a pen holder here, which works great. Um, I tend to have a little pencil case anyway with all my markers and a little thing here that a friend sent me and you can learn how to make these. This is just um, a shaker, a grace shaker. When you need grace or you just want to say, God, help me while you're praying, you just use your rattle. Um, but it just has a little Project Life card in it with a verse on it. And she put um, Best Day Ever, another Project Life card. One other thing I wanted to point out was these cute little pocket things. You can find these at Michael's. And what I do is I put a little verse that I really like, that I'm really claiming. And right now for this year, my verse for the year is Psalm 62.5. My It's just been the verse that I've been hanging on to, even in 2016. So it's my pocket verse. I made a cute little pocket and I keep it right in there. And some days I just need to open that up. And when I'm thinking about some of the bigger dreams and goals, and even when I'm dreaming big with my husband about certain things for the family and Gosh, we were praying last year in 2016 for some big things with his job and really um, standing in expectation for them. And man, did God open up and deliver. And when I go back to my family area and I write about my husband, there's a whole section in here. I was able to put his new business cards in and just some awesome things that God did and answered. So I hope you enjoyed. I don't know if this was too long. I don't usually do journal setups, but... That's what it is. And this little thing right here, these are monkey knots and they're little page holders, but you can find these on Etsy too. They're super cute. Um, and I'll put the link for her store below because I think she, these, I've had this for a long time, but I'm sure she still sells them. And in the next video, I will introduce you over here to my personal Filofax. And then I will talk to you about my setup right now, which is my A5. Let me zoom out on this. This is my A5 daily planner, and I'll just give you a quick glimpse. Hello, hello. And this is how I daily plan, which is my daily and my weekly and my monthly goals. So I take that big vision board that you see in here and I break it down in there. So we'll talk about that in the next video. So, so give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to my channel for more things that will just inspire you in life and also build you in your faith. So have an awesome day. Blessings. Bye guys. You can find all kinds to decorate your planner. So I just wanted to add that in there and let you know. And then as far as washi tape, you can go to town on washi tape. And I went ahead and got um, one of the bowls from um, Home Goods, and I stuck all my washi tape in there. And my current favorite washi tape right now is, yes, you guessed it, those cute cactuses.